Hello guys, I welcome you all in this next episode of Concept Capsule. As you know that in this Concept Capsule series, we are coming for some wonderful topics where we are discussing the topics which are coming majorly in the examination like gate and also asked in the interviews. So today the topic is production. So this is exclusively for mechanical and PI students. So guys, today's topic is atomic hydrogen welding. Whenever we are talking about atomic hydrogen welding, there are many myths about this process. Some students are also confused about this process that whether it comes under the category of arc welding or it comes under the category of gas welding or some other type of welding. So when we are talking about uh, all these aspects, we are going to discuss in this session. So guys, first of all, we will see what is atomic hydrogen welding. Before that, this is some detail about me, those who are watching me for the first time, this is my detail. So I am having 10 plus years of experience. These, I have written many research and review papers and these are my areas of interest, okay? So you have seen that I have taken many topics related to engineering mechanics, strength of material, theory of machines. Now it is related to production. Soon I will be coming in the capsule related to machine design also and also industrial engineering. So we will see one by one. So guys, first of all, let us try to understand what is atomic hydrogen welding, whether it is a gas welding or it is an arc welding. To understand that we must be clear about the principle of both of these types of welding. So my dear, in short, if I will tell you that we are calling a welding to be arc welding if we are using the energy required for the welding from a arc okay so if we are taking if we are taking if we are using energy of arc if we are using energy of arc if we are using energy of arc for welding purpose energy of arc for welding purpose so if we are using energy of arc for welding purpose, it comes under the category of arc welding. And if we are going for some exothermic reaction like combustion, we are using in the gas welding. In combustion, you know that hydrocarbons reacts with oxygen. They give carbon dioxide and steam along with a lot of amount of energy is released, which is used for the welding purpose. So my dear, that is the principle of gas welding. So I will say, Combustion is the principle of gas welding. So my dear, if we are using combustion, it is said to be gas welding. If you are using the energy of arc, it is said to be the arc welding. So before deciding that which type of welding it is, let us understand what is atomic hydrogen welding. So my dear, in atomic hydrogen welding, what we are going to have? My dear, we are having this electrode 1, electrode 2. Both of these electrodes are made up of tungsten. So we are having two tungsten electrode and my dear between these two tungsten electrode we are going to provide the power supply like you can see this is anode this is cathode. So my dear when you are going to provide power supply arc will be generated between these two electrode as per the arc welding we see that between positive and negative we are getting an arc. So my dear arc will be generated between these two electrode and in this animation it is shown also that arc will be generated between these two electrodes. So my dear when arc is going to be generated between that electrode we are not using that energy of arc for the welding. If we would be using energy of arc for the arc uh, arc for the welding it would become a type of arc welding so what we are doing with that energy actually we are providing some hydrogen gas so whenever you are providing this hydrogen gas and this is obviously a ceramic nozzle from which you are providing we are using a ceramic nozzle and from this ceramic nozzle we are providing that hydrogen gas so when hydrogen gas is coming, my dear, so hydrogen gas is getting the energy from the arc and my dear, it is going to break into ions. You know, it is a very basic rule of chemistry. Whenever you break energy, you need to supply. Whenever two things are joined, energy is released. It is the basic principle of chemistry. Here you are breaking, so you need to provide energy. So H plus and H minus ions would be coming. So this is hydrogen positive, this is hydrogen negative. So these are the ions which are coming. But my dear, this hydrogen gas, whenever you are supplying, it is going to break into ions by taking energy from the arc. So energy of arc you have used in breaking the hydrogen. 
Then my dear, what is going to happen now? They are unstable in nature. So if they are unstable in nature, they will try to once again become hydrogen gas. So the energy they have taken while breaking, obviously by energy conservation, energy is neither created nor destroyed. So my dear, you are also going to get some amount of energy will be released. I already told you the principle of chemistry says that whenever two things are going to, uh, you can say, uh, make, uh, meet with each other, energy will be released. And whenever the breaking is happening, energy is required. So here two atoms are meeting actually, H positive two ions are meeting. So obviously energy would be released. Now this energy we are going to use for the welding purpose. This energy we are going to use for the welding purpose. So my dear, yes, this is a reaction where energy is coming. It can be said as exothermic reaction. But my dear, whenever we are talking about this, neither we are using the energy which is coming from the arc. So it is not a arc welding. Nor combustion is going to happen. So it is not at all a gas welding also. So yes, whenever we are talking about atomic hydrogen welding, it does, uh, does not come under the heading of arc welding and also not coming under the heading of gas welding. It is a separate type. Some people are saying it is a combinational type of welding. So my dear, definitely different peoples have different point of view on this. But I would like to tell you, there are many misconceptions also related to that. Some people are thinking, sir, why this filler rod is there? So I would like to say tungsten is brittle in nature. So we cannot allow tungsten to be consumable. So these two electrodes are non-consumable. So to provide the extra material for welding, we are using the filler rod. One point. Second confusion is that, sir, whenever you are getting this energy from this reaction, first of all, you are using arc energy to break this. Then you are using this energy for welding. Why not directly this energy is used? Then some people are thinking, maybe sir, here we are providing some 50 joule of energy. Here we are getting some 60 joule of energy. So my dear, if that would happen, that is definitely going to be a magic. Because you are providing 50, you are getting 60. That is going to be the best process for energy generation. By first law, you know, energy can neither be created nor destroyed. So my dear, whenever we are talking about this, what is the benefit of taking hydrogen in between? That is the doubt actually with the student. So my dear, this is associated with your knowledge of heat transfer. So if you understand that, definitely you will be getting the point. My dear, in heat transfer, what we will see, there is a curve between conductivity and temperature. There is a curve between conductivity and temperature. So my dear, there are three curves you have seen in heat transfer. This is for air, this is for hydrogen and this is for helium. So if my dear, you are talking about the conductivity at some of the temperature, you can see that conductivity of hydrogen is more than the conductivity of air. So conductivity of hydrogen is more than conductivity of air at higher temperatures. So when the energy is released, temperature would be higher. So at higher temperature, the effect would be more. So this conductivity of hydrogen will be much, much more than that of the air. And you know, whenever you are using the atomic hydrogen welding, there is an atmosphere of hydrogen going to be there as you are providing this hydrogen gas. So everywhere you will be having the atmosphere of hydrogen. So in this region, you will be having atmosphere of hydrogen. But note the air. So because of this hydrogen atmosphere, my dear, obviously because of more conductivity, more heat would be going to the plates. So when more heat would be going to the plates, heat transfer efficiency of the welding is going to increase. So it is not like more energy is going to produce. It is like more energy is transferring to the plates. And in this way, the process is becoming more efficient. And also hydrogen is acting like a shielding gas also. So, you know, we are having flux requirements. So that is also fulfilled by the hydrogen gas. No doubt for that, we need to supply some extra amount of hydrogen. Okay, because that extra amount of hydrogen will be providing you the shielding from the atmosphere to the molten weld pool. So my dear, when you are using this process, this is neither coming under the arc welding nor coming under the gas welding. Some people are saying it is a kind of combinational. Yes, you can assume it like that. Okay, but otherwise it is a separate process and how uh, the things are differ. You can see 
that here heat transfer application came into picture that conductivity of hydrogen is more than the air at that particular temperature obviously it is there at all the temperature but at higher temperature as the curves are diverging the effect would be more so that is why i have written at higher temperatures application of this is joining the die steels which are hard materials for that we need more temperatures more heat so my dear the application is die steels okay so we are having die steels joining we are using this process yes i have written many points for you guys and you can see those points those points are initially the arc is being created between two non consumable tungsten electrodes by taking energy from this hydrogen molecules get converted into ions which are unstable in nature so that they got recombined and the heat which is used for the welding purpose because of high thermal conductivity hydrogen at high temperature helps to transfer the heat to the workpiece more and my dear this welding process is used for die steels hydrogen is acting as shielded gas so whatever the points i have already told you they are mentioned in the pdf and this pdf will be given to you in the telegram channel you can get it by joining my telegram channel mechanical by dheeraj sardana so guys every week we are coming with such kind of things okay and these are going to help you in your preparation journey for gate as well as as well as also it is going to help you in competitions uh, and interviews also okay so guys do like this session and share it to others and also subscribe the channel byju's exam prep gate english youtube channel signing off for today goodbye guys we'll meet in the next episode of concept capsule for some machine design related topic goodbye guys